Hello everyone, Philopater here, and welcome to this Winter Wonderland for another multiplayer battle in the DEI tournament hosted by my friend Imperator Romanorum. Uh, this battle actually takes about, what is it, 25 minutes? Uh, so we're just going to let them go at it while I go over the armies. Today's players are AC Maiden, playing as the Lugi, and who we have over here? We have Bear Letters, playing as the Ptolemaic Egyptians. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, his name is not actually Letters, uh, but it looks like an angry cat danced across his keyboard when he was trying to type his name. His name is completely unpronounceable, is what I'm trying to say. Now, speaking of names, I wanted to say a quick note about names of units and the languages used in the mod. I had said in the previous video that the uh, Celtic troops were given Celtic names. Most of the names were actually Greek names. And I don't know exactly what the rationale was in deciding to give a Greek name or a more native-sounding name, if you will. Uh, so, for example, these Bugmanos, or these German archers, that doesn't sound very Greek to me. It could be, I don't know, I don't speak Greek, I don't actually speak Proto-German either. Uh, but the fact is, some of these units are, are given more Greek names, some of them appear to be given more Germanic names, and it could simply be that this is a Germanic army, uh, and we know a little bit about the German language to try and piece together what a archer might have been called back in the day. Uh, I'll actually describe the armies now, beginning with some soldiers whose names I can pronounce. Uh, Bear Letters has six Crete and Mercenary archers. He has four Tarentine cavalry. You can already see them starting to skirmish over there. He has four Galatian Royal Guard, making up his back line. He has four Thuriophoroi, or Thurio Spears, as a main line. In the center, where are they? There they are. He has a Basilicoi Salingate, or a, uh, go a... I'm sorry. I'm blanking here. Hellenic Royal Guard Pikeman. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. His general is a Ptolemaicoi Heteroi, or a Ptolemaic Companion Cavalry. And I think that's his army. Now, AC Maiden, as I mentioned, has over here a little ambushing force. This force has two Night Fighters, and then one Naked Spears. He also has three of these Bugmanos, or, East, or German Archers. Uh, yep, Eastern German Archers. Interesting. There are also four Noble Cavalry. His General is in a Hundaskapaz, which is a heavy swordsman. Uh, there's also a second Hundaskapaz over here. And then the mainline infantry is a mix of these uh, Warawinii, a late version, so the reform version, the Warawinoi, an early version, and then these Sassnitas, or Eastern German swordsmen. Let's just take a quick look at these guys. You can see the earlier version doesn't have a whole lot of armor, while the later version has eh, a little bit of armor. They're at least wearing clothes. Hmm. Most of these Eastern swordsmen aren't, aren't wearing clothes. Oh well, they're lost. I'd also like to point out, this is very exciting for me. Oh, we can't see it because of the grass. Look! The soldiers are wearing real boots, and they're wearing socks! This is incredible! It's very disconcerting uh, to see a soldier fighting in the snow wearing only sandals. It breaks the realism. And it's these stupid, it's these stupid little details that make the mod so cool, so interesting. Uh, you, just, you see the effort and the decisions made by the modders. So... I have almost nothing bad to say about this mod. I'm sure if I play it longer, I'll find something. I can complain just about it, about just about anything, but... For right now, it is amazing, and I love it. Tarentine Cavalry going up against the General. They're going to be chased away by these swordsmen. Yep, some javelins going off. A couple of the Tarentines. We'll watch the scenery here for a moment. I'm trying to decide if it's colder in this battle, or colder outside in the real world right now. Um, we're in the middle of a horribly frozen temperature. I think yesterday it was negative 40 in the wind chill. Today it's in the positive, so it's not so bad. But I'm from a place that regularly gets snow anyway, so it, for me it was normal. It actually gets really tiring listening to people complain about the cold. It's winter! Of course it's cold! Now shut up! Let's see... 
Tarentine's doing something. They're going to get chased away by the Noble Cavalry. They're also going to get a lot of Archer Fire. Already down to half strength. Yep, there come the arrows. You know. These weaker unarmored horsemen, uh, especially getting shot from the back, they'll drop very quickly to arrows. Which kind of makes sense if you think about it. The horse is a big target. Uh, it's a very large area to shoot at. And horses are notoriously fickle. I imagine getting an, uh, an arrow stuck in your hind is enough of a reason to throw your rider off and just leave. I had a bunch of friends in, uh, who were equestrians. Uh, they rode horses as their hobby. You know, they would joke, horses are afraid of two things, things that move and things that don't move. Very skittish, very fragile creatures. And you have to be when your only defense in life is to run away from things. You know, they have no horns, they have no tusks, just run away, run away. But you get the idea. Obviously, though, the benefits of the speed and the mass of a horse for a nice charge cannot be denied. And it seems like from what I've been playing, cavalry are both more and less effective. Rear charges are a lot more effective and are a great way to rout an entire enemy army. Uh, but frontal charges are almost suicide, unless you're going into weak infantry on the move. The cavalry just simply can't stand up to even you know, the, the braced light spearmen. So, it basically, it just, it forces you to play smarter. You can't simply rely on rushing forward and massacring the dickens out of your opponents. You have to make good choices. Speaking of good choices, I think the battle's about to start in earnest now. There we are. Whoop, whoop, oh, motion sickness. So the Tarentines it looked like they were trying to get around to go after the archers. The night fighters, you'll notice the night fighters have almost no armor. Very nice body paint, nice loincloth, no armor. So even that little charge against the Tarentines was enough. I'm sorry, uh, that little charge by the Tarentines was enough to do a lot of damage against the night fighters. Also, the Cretan archers are coming in, pouring a lot of arrows in. But the Noble Cavalry is going to come in, and do quite a number on the Tarentine Cavalry. Now that's pretty cool, the Noble Cavalry actually have Javelin. Really neat to watch. And the Archers are going to pretty much finish them as they retreat. Now Maiden could have gone after this big blob of Archers, but probably not the best idea. It would have killed a lot of archers, but it would have also killed his cavalry. Better to save it uh, and fight later in the battle. I wonder, would you guys like this? Can you guys tell what's going on? Just try and remember, we've got Tarentine, Tarentine, Tarentine. I wonder, can I at least... Let's see. Oh, there we go, okay. Let's see, so Taren... No, no, I can't actually see it now. Darn it! Well, I tried. Uh, Tarentines are still around. More Tarentines. Noble Cavalry going up the middle, but they see the Tarentines coming, and so they're going to pull back. Other Noble Cavalry going after Tarentine. AC Maiden is now working on getting a surround off. He is building a very solid right flank with some infantry and cavalry. Now oh, we got to go back here, get the proper colors from the sun. Stupid red line. Can't go any farther back. Oh well, what are you going to do? But it looks like, yep, the Tarentine Cavalry have actually gone into the Noble Cavalry. They're going to get cleaned up, but there's actually going to be quite a lot of friendly fire going off against these Noble Cavalry. So, very interesting. Very interesting decision. More Tarentines, just not a whole lot of sure what they're doing, just kind of just wandering around. But the archers are going to clean them up pretty quickly. Another thing, it looks like archers' the accuracy is lessened. And I wonder if that's something where it's only because these are weaker archers. Maybe if Balearic Slingers have better, better aim. Not exactly sure. We'll do some testing later and try and figure that out. 
Night Fighter is taking quite a bunch of casualties from the uh, from the Cretan archers. Looks like yep, these Tarantines are shattered. They're not coming back. Also, looks like these are shattered too. Yeah, the entire or half the Tarantines are gone. AC Maiden now feels comfortable enough to push forward. He has to remember that there are these units of pikes here. He cannot go headlong into Royal Pikes. His infantry would be just be absolutely ruined. Wretched son. The Thuriophori are doing quite a number on the infantry as they charge in. And very interesting that he chose to come in at such an angle. See, more javelins going back and forth. And let's see, is Maiden going to notice? It's getting close, getting close. Okay, he sees. He's going to have all of his archers targeting the pikemen. He's also going to have these eastern swords throwing javelins. Trying to do as much damage against the pikemen as possible. And he's gotten a whopping three kills. If you choose to play this mod, you'll notice pikemen are not worthless, but they're also not going to win you the battle. They're essentially unbeatable from the front, except by stronger pikemen. Uh, and they can take a lot of archer fire, at least these elite uh, guys, you'll see, they're being targeted for a good ten minutes, five minutes, uh, and they'll only take maybe fifty casualties. On the other hand, if they get attacked from the rear, they're done. So you need to keep them pointed forward. You need to keep your you need to keep their flanks clean. I uh, need to keep archers away from them. So a very useful addition to your roster if you choose to use pikemen. Now Galatian Royal Guard fighting these Eastern Swordsmen. Are they Warwinoi? Oh nope, these are Warwinoi. My bad. Elite Medium Swordsmen. Interesting. Of course, even with the Javelin Volley, they only lost about five men. Noble Cavalry finding an opening and going for it. Yeah, they're gonna. this unit of Noble Cavalry is going to start cleaning up archers left and right. Although it looks like this other unit has gotten stuck. Infantry coming in to tie up the right flank. And it looks like we're going to have a really nice Cavalry charge. Yeah, very nice. Bam! And if we watch, these cavalry are going to get... I think it's about 100 kills? 50, 60... I'm going to guess 100. 80, 90... Come on, three more. 100! We have... Good job. Oh wow, they're actually still going. So about 110 kills on the charge, and they haven't lost any men yet. So as I was mentioning, cavalry can be very weak, they all can also be incredibly strong. Meanwhile, while that was happening, the other two noble cavalry have engaged the Tarentines, tried to slip through around the side. Uh, they're also engaging the Ptolemaic general. Another charge coming in from noble cavalry. These guys kind of got stuck on the Galatian Royal Guard for a little while, but now they're free. 151 kills off on the first unit of Noble Cav. And not the cleanest charge in the world, but... And I actually might have gone for... I actually might have gone for the back of the infantry over here. Might have gone like that. Because it looks like most of the archers are being cleaned up anyways. Alright, what else is going on? More fighting between Galatians and Swordsmen. Obviously, that's going to go in the Galatians' favor. Pikemen have still not been engaged. I think they actually got two kills. Some Swordsmen walked over to the side and have gotten themselves killed off. Also notice here, AC Maiden has... It looks like he has pulled back his sword troops just a little bit. That way the Thuriophrae are only getting attacked from the rear. Oh, I can't actually see that. Stupid. Let's see, what are you? 
You guys, some swordsmen, have come back from routing. Units in this mod take a lot longer to route, but they also come back a lot more often. Again, more like real life. You get tired, you decide, I'm done, I'm gonna leave, go take a break, half hour later, you're, you're feeling good again, so you go back and join the fight. Now we have archers routing. This is an excellent, excellent thing Maiden is doing. Cleaning up all of the archers, taking this very dangerous force off the field. Very well done for him. Ptolemaic Cavalry trying to get away from these uh, these naked spears. Trying to get into uh, and help stop, at least try and save some of his archers, but um, I'm not sure. Thurio for a starting to waver. However, the left flank is starting to collapse. These Thurio spears are holding out extremely well against the German swordsmen. I don't know everything about the statistics, but and it probably has something to do with all of the javelins that were thrown when the engagement first happened. Maiden's being very smart, taking his Snasnatas, <laughs> Eastern Swordsmen, and moving them around to the flank. It looks like... Huh, heavy cavalry looting... I'm oh, sorry, heavy cavalry losing to Tarantine. Interesting. Naked Spears getting cleaned up, but most of the archers have also been cleaned up by this point. Maiden being very patient, getting the Eastern German Swordsmen around to attack the rear of the uh, Galatian Royal Guard. But it's still going to take quite a lot to kill them off. You see, they've only lost four men. What are the archers doing? The archers are going after the Tarentines, trying to keep... trying to be uh, preemptive, if you will. Get rid of them before they have a chance to do any damage. General unit here. Whoops. General unit of here going up against uh, the Thuriofroy. Not doing so bad. But he's going to have to pull back and chase off the general. Or, I'm sorry, chase off these Tarentine cavalry. There we go. Let's see, are they going to get a javelin volley off? I don't know. Going to be close. So there's one unit of Cretan archers left targeting the general. Very smart on Bear's part. AC Maiden is now splitting up his archers. Very smart, trying to save as many of them as possible. Tarentines have also being are being charged by the general. They've actually been caught up to. I don't know if the Tarentines actually got a charge off on the archers. They may have been targeting one unit and walked into a different unit. But now that these Tarentines are going up against heavy infantry, uh, they're going to get cleaned up pretty quickly. Stab. That was more of a slash. Running roughshod through the archers again. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Oh, the general is somewhere around here. Okay, yeah, there was one unit of Cretan archers that's about to get cleaned up by heavy cavalry. But the Ptolemaic general, are those... Nope, these are Tarentines. Ptolemaic General is still alive. Uh, Tarentines are still alive. And the Tarentines are actually going to be able to clean up these Noble Cavalry, I think. Let's see... Snasnatas actually routing. I just like saying that. I don't know how to properly pronounce these. I'm going to pronounce... If you look, S-A-H. Sas... No, ta Yeah, Sasnatas. Just sounds about as un-German as you could possibly get. One of these days, I'm going to actually learn the languages I'm making fun of. Let's see. Archer is going after the general. Very smart. As I mentioned, cavalry are very susceptible to missiles, especially sustained missile fire. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Come on. Disappear. Okay. Hmm. No, it's just really laggy. Oh, uh, it's just the battle is... These battles take so incredibly long. Units have so many HP. There's more men in a unit. Um... Uh, and it forces you to be smarter about how you take engagements. You can't just run your men into the front of the other an army and hope to win. You have to get cavalry around for rear charges. You have to use your skirmishers effectively. Uh, you have to kill the enemy general. You have to make smart choices about how you're going to win. So, uh, AC Maiden's general has to come back and go after the cavalry again. It's like the German bowmen are doing quite a number against the Ptolemaic cavalry. Ouch. Uh, but some Tarentines are going to get into the archers. Also, Bear has finally gotten his pikemen moving. Very smart. You can't just let your pikemen sit there and get attacked by archers. Although he should probably take formation attack off. and Nope. He should probably keep the pike formation off. Uh, and just get right into the middle of the archers and kill them that way. Thuriofroy are wavering because they're being attacked from the side and from the rear, but... Oh, they actually break. There we go. So even though most of his infantry is losing against the Galatian Royal Guard, uh, he's starting to win. AC Maiden is starting to win here on the right flank. And he's now going to be able to get more surrounds off on Galatian Royal Guard. He's also going to be able to reinforce this fight in the middle. Looks like the Ptolemaic Cavalry has been caught by... What are these? I don't know. What am I looking at? Okay, the Lugi General, the Hundaskapaz, has been caught by Throfroy and Ptolemaic Cavalry. Not looking too good for the Lugi... or er, the Lugii General. Is it Lugi? Lugii? Lugi? I'm just going to keep saying German. That, that sounds... nice. Thuriofroy have been surrounded and routed off the field. Oh, and I'm sorry, they're not surrounded. Uh, they've simply been beaten by the Warwinii, who have gotten 240 kills. Uh, very nice. I just want to point out over here, these Tarentines have gotten 400 kills. Whereas, say, like, the general... The point I'm trying to make is, because the unit sizes are so much larger in this game, getting... Uh, a shock cavalry with 200 kills is really not that impressive. That's less than one unit of Thurio Spears. But if you can get hundreds of kills, 500 kills, route whole units off the field, that's where you're getting your money's worth. So, big mistake here from Bear Maiden. He needs to get these pikemen ready to intercept the general of Maiden, uh, and then pull his own general through the pikes. Unfortunately, yeah... The general of AC, or the, sorry, the general of Bear is going to rout. It's going to be a huge morale blow to his army. AC Maiden is slowly winning on the left flank. Just clean up one more unit of Thorofroy, and that's going to be the end of it. Tarentine cavalry getting a nice rear charge against these War Oh, uh, it's not looking good for them. They're wavering. Uh, but more Eastern Swordsmen, the Snastatas, coming in to reinforce. Snastatas. The general of AC Maiden is engaging the pikes head-on. They were in... He just he needs to pull back. At one point, the pikes were, were up, uh, and the swordsmen were able to get in and do some damage, but AC Maiden needs to pull his general back, needs to keep his general alive. There we are. Thoriofroy are now surrounded. They're eventually going to get killed. The one unit of archers that was saved is going to be able to take out the pikemen. Tarentines were not able to rout the Warwinii. Nope. Uh, and Aiden, Maiden's doing something very smart here. He's got his Snostatas ready to intercept the Tarentines, forcing them into the stronger infantry, uh, which will be able to survive a Tarentine charge much better. Of course, these guys are down to looks like about a third strength, so... Not much to write home about. Elite swordsmen are going to lose... What? What do we got? Maybe five men on the charge? But the Tarentines are now going to be chased away by the Eastern Swords. What are these guys up to? 50 kills. I mean, look at this. 50 kills on Elite Swords. 
versus 177 kills on the Galatians. Again, you need to keep you need to keep thinking, how am I going to win? What am I going to do to route the enemy army? What could I be doing better? Looks like... Nope, Tarantines are still here. But the Galatians are heading away as fast as they can. And now it's just a matter of surrounding the rest of the enemy infantry and killing them. 304 have finally broken. Let's see. This is stupid. The general is still fighting pikes. He needs to get his general out of there. This is not worth it. Looks like the archers are now out of ammo, but it looks like, yeah, they were in a really nice position to take or target the Galatians from the rear. These Galatians are down, down to 130 men. War and I are not going to last much longer, but now they're being reinforced by Snostatas. Tarantine Cavalry doing one last-ditch uh, attack. And it looks like... Uh, nope, it's going to be too little too late. And so, yeah. Oh, General's being chased, targeted in the rear by Pikes. I told him he needed to get these out. I didn't actually tell him. I said it. needs to get these guys out of there. Uh, but they are now routing. Although the pikemen are going up against two-handed spears with... They're out of pike formation. I don't actually know how this is going to work. Oh, pikes are down now. It doesn't matter. They'll win that fight eventually. Uh, War and I are routing. Tarantines have routed off the field. I'm not saying Bear is going to win, but this is Maiden's game to lose. Especially if that general comes back from routing. Is the general dead? Nope, general is not dead, it looks like. There we are. General's coming back from routing, and this is now Maiden's game to lose. If he can get a proper surrounds off, uh, kill these Glacian Royal Guards one by one, he still has a good chance. Looks like the pikemen are going to try and get a surround off, but the archers are going to be able to intercept. These troops might come back from routing. Maybe. Yep, pikemen are not able to do what they wanted to do. Uh, and now they're being attacked from the rear by archers, so... Let's see how long they last. Oh, it's technically the side, I guess. Yep, more of these routing troops are coming back to the battle. Yep, the Galatians realizing they're not going to win. Pikemen desperately trying to survive. They're up to 200 kills. Not bad in the you know the normal game, but unacceptable for such an expensive unit in in the DEI mod. Stab, stab, stab. Come on, one more. Yeah. Come on, figure out who's fighting who. Oh, that's the end of it. Everybody has routed. Uh, let's take a quick look at the statistics. I know this this video is going on forever, but... Quickly, the Royal Cavalry, some of them did great, some of them not so much. General did pretty good. The Archers did pretty good. The uh, Eastern Swordsmen, pretty good considering their price. And it looks like this unit of Warwinii, especially being so early did an excellent job. Uh, what really did in Bear Letters? It looks like it was the loss of the Cretan Archers that really did him in. Uh, the Pikemen not being useful. The, I mean, a lot of his soldiers did well, but it looks like, yeah, here's the issue, is that uh, AC Maiden brought a lot more soldiers and was simply able to outlast Bear Letters. And again, losing the Cretan Archers was what probably did him in. Whew! That was a long video. I need to go eat something. And that was, yeah. Everybody playing these battles, figure out how to win quicker so I don't have to keep talking for a half an hour. Ugh. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more. I'll see you in the next one.